Hi everybody, welcome back to the craft room. Firstly, I'd like to do my thank yous, and that's a thank you to Marcia, and a thank you to Tracy for the coffees. That was very kind, thank you very much. So, today's card is going to be using these Marianne collectibles again. So I've got the cats and the dogs. Just checking that. Glad he settled himself down, he was moving about a bit. Um, and this die, I don't know where this is from, this happy birthday die. So, and I'm going to make a Highland cow. I'm going to try and make a Highland cow. I have pulled out the cat's um, muzzle piece for a tongue. The cat's ear piece for ears. Um, I think that's all I pulled out of those, and I've got the tail, dog's tail, four horns, a body and a head, the muzzle for muzzle, and the fluff for glove, and then I've got this one for eyes and nostrils. I think that's all I need, but I can always pull out more if I need them, and I've got this brown and burnt orange for the cow that's for his horns this is for the sentiment that's for his tongue so first thing I'm going to do is get all these cut I'll cut this one a few times everything else just once oh I need some black for that but I'll, I'll grab that so let me get it all cut out and I will be right back there's all the pieces I also pulled out the cat's collar to do the lower lip so let's put all those bits over there for a second and get the sentiment done first. And that just sits on top of there. So let me just get this stuck together. I've managed to get um, a lot of videos pre-recorded to cover for my while I'm on holiday. Um, a lot of them are before Badgie was poorly, before, before he's op. So you might hear him running about and barking in, in some of them, but that's because he hadn't had his operation at that point. So um, anyway, let me, uh, let me get this all stuck down. So there's the sentiment done. <coughs> Let's have a look at this little a cow body head muzzle on the bottom lip. So first thing I'm gonna do, I think I might put a little bit of shading on these. So let me pull out some pens. Shading with I've got a brown grey copper. Praline and Rose Bouvard to do a little bit of shading on these as I put them together. So the first thing I'm going to put is oh I might have to put his tongue on first. So let me I'm going to cut this off here. I'm going to put his little tongue coming out of his mouth there. <coughs> like that. I'm going to put a little bit of shading on his tongue. If it's coming out sideways like that. I'm just going to blend that in with a fruit pink. So let's put 
that one first. And then for this, I'm going to do the copper. I'm just going to colour all that. Right, let's have another look on here. I've pulled, pulled out a dark brown just to do a bit of blending because I'm going to do a little bit of dark down here. And then blend that up. And with the blender I'm going to blend that up further. So let that dry for a second. And that's going to go on there. Sorry about all the drilling outside but the window's open because it's warm and someone's having a lot of work done so it is what it is. I will try and mute it in the editing but to see how that goes. So let's move up there. It's got a little bottom of it. And that is going to go on there. And we'll put some nostrils on now before I lose them. So that's that one. So that is the dog's mouth. I'm going to have those as nostrils. So we'll put those on next. I think that's going to go on next, but I do want to work out his hair and eye placement before I do that. So let's give him some hair. If his horns are going to go on there. Something like that. So we need his eyes quite low so we can still see them a little bit. Let's poke out his eyes. So do we want some whites? So let's see what these look like. I think we will put 
Come on, do we put them on that way around, I think. Let's just get this put down a little bit so that I can tuck those eyes underneath. Oh, he's got his ears as well, haven't he? Let me just do the ears while I think about how I'm going to do that because um, otherwise I wouldn't be faffing for ages. So I think we're just going to do, I did them in pink as well, so I'm just going to put a little bit of pink underneath, I think, to. Inside so that and then we'll either use one side or the other. That side, I think. Just careful, please. A lot of noise outside with dogs barking and stuff. So I'm up. Mm. So this one. <clears throat> Let's do the other one. And they look the same. In the same way, aren't they? That's all right, we use the other side. So that's going to be poking outside the fur. So let's stick a couple of bits of fluff on either side. And put an ear on each side. Don't know how. Whether they're poking upwards or not, but we're going to have them hanging down, I think. Like that. It's looking like a weird dog at the minute, isn't he? We're going to Highland cow him up with his top bit. I won't have realised I haven't done it any legs. <laughs> I better think about some legs. Okay. So let's see what this colour looks like on this orange. Before I start doing shading. Now let's put a little bit of shading in here. Blend that out a little bit. I just wanted it a little bit darker because it's behind. Let's do a better job of that.
and then we've got these horns. Think I'm going to put one there. Put that on top. Oops! I'm going to cut them down a little bit though, because they're a bit long. So let me. Them together, I cut a little bit off. Okay, let's get me stuck on. bits on that. I think so. <laughs> it's just uh, darken that one a bit. Let's blend up. I think I've made the horns too small now, <laughs> so I'm gonna use those off. Oops. Cut some more and redo those. So let me just do that. While I was recutting the horns, I did cut the inside of the dog's ears for legs. So let's redo these horns, make them a little bit longer. Like that, I think. So let's, let's get those both on at the same time. Put some shading on those later if I want to. I might leave them as they are. Okay, so so that's his head. And now for his body. So he's going to be fluffy all over. So I've done lots more fluff. So we'll have layers of fluff going down there, I think. Let's stick some of these together, or else I'm just going to be fucking for ages.
don't know if that's too much or not. I no, might just go with that. Let's stick him on. Let's stick that on there. And then stick that on there. Oops. I'm just going to snip off that bit of his ear because it's annoying. And then he's going to have legs. So he's facing forward. And he's got legs in front. Which might have a little bit of fluff on it around him. And then I think that might be him. So I'm going to darken those because they're in the back. These little back legs. Right, let's just stick these under here next. <coughs> let's put these little eggs on. I'm supposed to do it all, so I don't think it's in there. Let's do all that in time. I'm going to do it. Not sure about those legs, so let me have a tidy up and think. Okay, so back. What I've done is I've cut a little bit off of the bottom there because I thought he was too long. I've got some um, back legs and some front legs, and I've got some back hooves and some front hooves. So I've just cut that again and cut the top off. So let's get the hooves on first. So back ones are going on. I'm going to have a little bit of fluff on them. I'm going on the front, so I'll put the fluff on first. Seems like a better way of doing it. And you can go there. And you can go there. I think that's him done. Might just put a little bit of quite on his eye. There's an extra little bit of mud. And sentiment is there, so 
I made a card base. I've got a brown matte layer and my white top layer. So that's going to go on there, and then he's going to go on here. So I think I'm just going to put the happy birthday on there, and he's going to be stood on it. So let's get that stuck on first. I think I might put a bit of glitter on there. Do you look at that? Do you want So a little bit of sparkle in there, and then he is going to be standing on there like that. Just, just do a little bit of And maybe put some gems on. So there's today's card with a little Highland cow. I really enjoyed making him took a bit but uh, yeah I think he's come out very sweet so that's it this time thank you so much for watching I'll catch you next time okay bye